Mailchimp automation tutorial create customer journeys. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a automated customer journey using Mailchimp. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you might be wondering is what is Mailchimp and what is the automated customer journey? Well, Mailchimp is a email marketing service provider, and what you can do with Mailchimp is that you can create a automated customer journey. So whenever a customer signs up for your newsletter on your website or fills out a specific form or purchases is a specific product you can create a automatic journey of email marketing that starts whenever a certain action is completed so today I'm going to show you how to do that and it's pretty simple and easy with Mailchimp now I have logged on to my Mailchimp account if you don't have an account already just click on sign up for free and you can sign up with your email or your Facebook or Google account now after that what I'm just going to do over here is I'm just going to click on automations over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on customer journeys and, and I'm going to click on create journey over here. And now you're going to basically create a map of your customer journey. So what I'm going to do is maybe I'll just write this as a welcome example and I'll click on start building. So this is what I'm just naming the customer journey. You're going to name it accordingly. Now I'm going to choose a starting point and once you choose your starting point, that is going to be when your customer journey is activated. So I am doing a welcome uh, example for you. So what I'm going to do now, once I have added the name is I'm going to click on contact activity and you can see that there are different categories where you can um, specify what kind of initial starting point you want for your marketing event. So email marketing event. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do on contact activity and I'm going to click on sign up over here and I'm going to click over here and I'm going to save the starting point. So the starting point that I added was when they sign up to your audience. What I can do after that is now I can add certain filters and what I can do is I want them to receive an email and it gets email and what the email is going to be from which is going to be a welcome email. Welcome to our family like this and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it for now and I can design my email as well but I'm just going to set it aside for now and I'm going to schedule this to be sent as soon as this person signs up so you can choose to do that or you can choose to send between certain times as well but I want this to be delivered as soon as possible so I'm just going to click on close so I want this to happen whenever someone signs up to my audience they receive a welcome email and then what I want to do is maybe I want to wait for another trigger and the trigger could be anything it could be shopping activity it could be uh, dates and special events it could be marketing activity so whenever this person opens the email or I can add a if else kind of situation as well so I could do a if else I can add a if else block over here like this and whenever the yes path is add so if campaign activity is open in any of the last email any of the last five campaigns now if they do yes i'm going to zoom out to show you guys a clearer view i'm just going to zoom in a little to show you guys my overall customer journey map a bit closer now, if it is the yes path and if they have opened up any of my last email, so if it is a yes, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them a email and now I want to send them a discount email. Now I'm going to send the email called, thank you for joining us. And I want the preview text to be, here's a 10% discount. And I'm just going to close this. And if they haven't opened up my uh, email, any of the past emails, what I also am going to do is I'm still going to send a discount email, but I will rephrase my email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on over here and I want the email to be, hey, we haven't heard from you. And I want the preview text to be, sorry to see you're not around. Here's a 10% discount for you or something like that and I can add obviously the entire email later on and now what I'm going to do is I can add like a another trigger or another time delay so what I can do is I can add a time delay after that after like one week or a few days or a few hours I can add like a separate email but right now I find that this customer journey is pretty satisfying so I'm just going to click on save and close and now I have created an automatic customer journey using Mailchimp.
Now, this was just a basic welcome email or a welcome discount. You can create any kind of journey accordingly. You can link your Shopify store or your Equid store or whatever kind of e-commerce store you're running, and then you can click on create journey over here. And what you can do is when a certain customer is purchasing often from you, you can provide them with more incentives to purchase from you again and again. And that is one way that you can get recurring customers as well. So what you're just going to do is you're going to click on create journey over here, and then you can create like a journey what i can do is uh loyalty or, or like customer loyalty and i can click on start building over here and this could be a great customer journey to build especially when you have someone uh, in your uh, customer base or you have you know loyal customers that purchase from you frequently you can add that as well so what you're going to do is you're going to go into shopping activity you can add uh, time since last purchase and what you can do is you can just integrate your Shopify or your Equid store from here. Now you can find an integration and link it over here and then you can make a customer journey just as I did previously. Currently I don't have any Shopify or Equid stores that don't have an email marketing um, integration link so I can't link them but I will show you guys another customer journey you can build very simply and very easily is you can go onto your journey section you can name it sample and I'll click on start building over here. And what you're just going to do now is you're going to choose your starting point. And for this customer journey, you can add a birthday. So this is another great way for you to get loyalty from your customers is by sending them a happy birthday email. So days before the date is the uh, contact needs to be a few days uh, signed up a few days prior before their birthday. So what you can do is you can do 10 days and then you can go on to save starting point and then it's their birthday so what you can do is you can click on send email you're going to drag your email over here and then you can get happy birthday email or something like that and then you can later on just uh, end this journey over here if you want to create a more detailed journey you can obviously add more tags you can add subscriptions you can add unsubscribe or if they don't open this email and then you can add a if section and if they don't open your email so if the campaign activity if the birthday campaign so you're going to scroll down and you're going to go with campaign activity and if they did not open all of the campaigns within the last three months what you can do is you can choose if we haven't opened any of the activities then you can just click on unsubscribe and you can unsubscribe this person or you can even add like an unsubscription email to tell them that they haven't opened your emails. If you choose to do so, you can do that as well. Or you can just update this contact or archive this contact as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your own customer journeys using MailChimp and automate your email marketing campaigns. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.